This video shows how to complete and submit the ISBN exercise from the sixth series. In this exercise, we write a function is ISBN that takes a single string argument. The function must return a Boolean value that indicates whether or not the argument represents a valid ISBN 10 code. A valid ISBN 10 code is a string having 10 characters that has a correct check digit and has its digits divided into four groups of one, four, four and one digit, each time separated by hyphens. The first nine characters must be digits and all other combinations of characters should return false. To solve this exercise, we will start from the solution in the fifth series. Let's switch to PyCharm. In this solution, the check digit has been calculated in a function is ISBN that takes a single string argument. This function returns a Boolean value that indicates whether or not the argument represents a valid ISBN 10 code. How can we use this code to solve our new problem? Let's have another look at the problem in Dodo. A correct ISBN code must meet the following four conditions. The argument should be a string. The string should consist of 10 characters and is divided into four groups of one, four, four and one elements. All the characters except the final one should be digits and the check digit should be correct. The check digit has already been calculated and checked in the function is ISBN of series 5. We move this code to a separate function check digits which will only calculate and check the check digit. So here we calculate the check digit and here the check digit is checked and we return the value as a string. The function is ISBN will now check all the conditions. We first add the comments in the PyCharm editor. First we check whether the argument is a string. Then we check whether the hyphens are at the correct position and whether each group has correct number of digits. If this is OK, we remove the hyphens from the given code and check whether all the characters except the final one are digits. And finally, we will check whether the check digit is correct. We now extend the code with these checks. To check whether the argument is a string, we can use the function is instance. If the argument is not a string, the function will return false. To check if the digits are grouped in a proper way and each group has a correct number of digits, we make use of the method split with a hyphen as separator. This method will return a list of strings. If this list contains four elements and if the length of the elements is one, four, four and one respectively, we can proceed with the next test. If not, the function returns false. The length of the consecutive strings in the list can be checked in different ways. Here we turn the set of lengths into a tuple which we compare with the given tuple. If this tuple differs from 1441 tuple, the ISBN code is not valid and the function returns false. If this test is successful, we can remove the hyphens from the code. To convert a list to a string, we can use the string method join. In this case, the different elements of the list are combined without hyphens or spaces and the method will return a new string. Code is now unhyphenated string and contains 10 characters. Next we check whether all of the characters except the last one 
are digits. In this case, we use the string method isDigit, and if the condition fails, the function returns false. Finally, the check digit is checked. Since we've already calculated and checked this in the function check digit, we just call this check function, compare the result with the last character of code, and finally return this result. I would like to point out that the code for calculating the check digit in the function check digit can be shortened significantly by making use of list comprehension. We can replace the current code by this one and in that way calculating the check digit is reduced to one line code. To test the code in PyCharm we can make use of a doc test. We retrieve the sample data from the donor and add it as a command in the code. We put the doc test between three single quotes and at the bottom we add the code that ensures that the doc test is executed. We run the doc test is ISBN and it seems that executing this code including the doc test does not yield any errors. We will submit our code to the donor. And it appears that our work is correct. In this video, it was shown how by means of lists, tuples, strings and function, we can check whether or not an ISBN 10 code of a certain format corresponds to a correct code.